doing a chicken here. We have some onions, garlic, lemon, thyme, and we have some green olives that have already been pitted, okay? We also have this white balsamic uh, vinegar that we're gonna be using to deglaze the pan as well, too. So we have our Instapot here, and the Instapot, cool thing about that is it can be a crock pot, you can sear in it, which we're gonna start our chicken off and sear in it. Uh, you can use it as a slow cooker, and then like, let's say you accidentally forgot to plug in your slow cooker before you went to work that morning, and you got home and you're like, oh my goodness, dinner's not ready. Well, cool thing about Instapot is you can just go ahead and put it on pressure cooker and cook it up in about 30 minutes when it would have taken the slow cooker about four hours to do. So I've already had it on here, heating up, so we can go ahead and sear with it. Okay, so we just went ahead and take it, put it on sear, put it on high. So I have some oil in that bottle right there, and I want you to go ahead and take it and do a couple swirls, about three swirls. Perfect. Okay, Amanda, so then I also have here our chicken. So I want you to go ahead and get that bottle of oil again. All right, do a little bit of swirl of that oil right over the chicken. Perfect. We have our pepper cranker and how it works, it's gonna go back and forth. So I want you to go ahead and do a few cranks of pepper on there. Great, just like that, mm -hmm. perfect. And then we have our salt right here. And so an actual pinch of salt that you wanna do is kinda using the tips of your fine finger, okay? So you can see you're grabbing with all that, not okay. one of the little baby pinches. Right. So this is a culinary pinch of salt, all right? So mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and do about two pinches of salt right over that chicken. It's a professional pinch. Professional yeah. pinch, there you go. Oh man, you might be able to get hired with that. So we have some tongs right here in our dish. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go skin side down. All right, right into that Instapot. You can hear that sizzle there. So cool thing about um, using Instapot is that you can actually sear with it. And also you wanna make sure that you had it nice and hot. And even if you're searing something on the stove, right? If you're kind of doing a steak or anything like that in a pan, you wanna make sure your pan is super hot. Really important, that's nice and hot because when you put that chicken or that steak in there, you wanna get that nice sear caramelized on that skin there. So skin side down. We're just gonna take out our chicken now. All right, and then I'm gonna have you go ahead, you're gonna add in your onions. Always pouring away from you, that's why you have a backsplash at home, so you don't mess up your pretty dress. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic, and you have a tasting spoon right there, that little white spoon to help you scoop that garlic out, and we're gonna go with all of that. It's four cloves in there. It already smells good. Yes, good garlic <laughs> and onions cooking can always smell good. Go ahead and grab the wooden spoon there out of the crock. Let's go ahead and give this a stir. All right, that looks great. Let's go ahead and do a pinch of salt in here. Five fingers, there you go. All right, and then I'll go ahead and hold this for you. Why don't you go ahead and give me about four cranks of pepper in there, so back and forth all the way. Perfect. We're gonna actually deglaze our pan. So we're gonna add a nice acid, which we're gonna be doing our white balsamic there. Okay. okay, so you have a little measuring cup here. It's really cute, it has a little measuring cups in it. So right, we're gonna go ahead with two tablespoons okay. of that. So you just pop it off, just oh, like that. There go. Two tablespoons? Yep. And that's gonna help us get all that yummy brown bits on the bottom there. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and dump that right in. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and add in our green olives. All of them right in? Yep, right in. All right, you're gonna go ahead and add in your thyme sprigs. And your lemons. Great, so we're just gonna give this a quick little stir so they're all incorporated. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and place our chicken right back on top and let it finish cooking in there. But they don't know how to properly hold a knife, okay? So, what a proper hold is called a pinch grip, okay? So right here is called the bolster of your knife. This is the heel of your knife right here. You're gonna take your thumb and index finger and go right above that bolster and actually pinch that blade right there, okay? You take your other three fingers, your middle uh, ring and pinky right under, so then it's kind of an extension of your arm here, okay? You have a lot more control of it holding it like this than if you were just holding the handle back here, which kind of can rock you, you can slip on it, okay? okay. So go ahead and try that pinch grip. Very nice, okay. good. 
Okay, so there's actually more flavor in the stems of parsley and cilantro than there are the leaves. So okay. we're gonna go ahead and use our stems with this as well and chop this up. So all we're gonna do to make this nice and safe and easy to cut is kind of roll it up into a bundle, okay? And so you're gonna go ahead and with your other hand that you're not holding your knife, you wanna go ahead and do a claw hand and kind of push forward. It's gonna allow your knuckles to kind of push forward and your fingertips underneath, which are always in the way. So just like that, and we're gonna go ahead and cut that up, okay? Alright, great. And when you get to those last few pieces, just move your hand and you can put your hand right on top of your blade, okay. right up here, and kind of go ahead and rock over those last few oh, pieces. Okay. Save those fingertips. Right. Yes, we want all of them to stay in there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> That's the most important part about today is walking away with all 10 fingers. Yeah. Alright, great. So that looks good. Some of the um, onions and all that right onto your plate and your chicken. Perfect. You can grab some of those yummy caramelized onions there. All right, just like that, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top and just a little bit of your lemon flake salt right on top of 